Forecasters at the Climate Prediction Center have a 55 to 65 percent chance that something called a La Nina may affect the United States. We'll talk about what La Nina is here and basically just explain how it's different from El Nino. So first of all, when we have warm ocean waters in place just off the coast of North America and South America with weaker trade winds, that's in El Nino. But what happens with a La Nina is these trade winds, which are these bigger winds that blow right across the equator. Those eventually strengthen back up and they push out west. So what that does is it carries with it that warm ocean water back west across the Pacific. This allows something to happen. The deeper, colder water from under the ocean starts to come up top. We call that upwelling and that cooler ocean water will surge back over towards the North American, South American coastlines. Now this does something. It elevates our polar jets, something that really does control a lot of the weather patterns to the United States. States. High pressure forms, blocks the jet up towards Alaska and sweeps it through diagonally across the United States. So what does this mean for Southern Colorado? Well, with this pattern, we typically see nice, dry and sunnier weather towards the Southern United States and our snow producing weather typically misses us to the North and East. So for often or well, often in La Nina conditions, Southern Colorado does get drier summers or drier winters, and it looks like this may happen. It's good to note this doesn't always happen. In 1999, Southern Colorado had a very strong La Nina and got one of its wettest annual precipitation records ever. So even though we do tend to see drier weather, that means less snowfall in Southern Colorado, it may not always be the case.